case you're unsure of where I'm at today, I am at Dollywood today for my second time ever. My first time here was back in 2016 and it is 2023. And since I was first year in 2016, I got to address the million dollar question I think you're probably wondering. Did you ride Lightning Rod in its opening year? In fact, yes, I did. I did get on Lightning Rod in 2016 and you got Wild Eagle over there. Pretty cool. So yeah, I did ride Lightning Rod for the first time in 2016. First RMC, I do not remember a dang thing about that ride. So I really, really need a rewrite on it today. So I'm gonna be going there right off the bat, getting on that a couple times, and also I'll be doing uh, Big Bear Mountain and Dragonfly for my first time. Well, the girl was not there when I was last when I was last year. It's gonna be cool to experience that, and also I will be getting on Mystery Mountain, which I did not write that in 2016 for reasons I'll get into. Once we get to it. So yeah, I'll be on uh, Lightning Rod, I'll be on those. I can't wait to ride Wild Eagle again because I've done all the other wing coasters since then. Well, actually, not Gatekeeper, I've done X Flight and Thunderbird on multiple occasions since then. But Wild Eagle, it's been years since I've ridden it. I don't remember it. So, really, anything about this car I can say there about. And also, I cannot wait to ride Thunderhead to see how that compares to other GCIs because, as a blade, I've heard people say it's running absolutely incredible and it's the best ride here. If that's true, I am really intrigued to see how it rides because if it's anything like Prowler, which is currently my top GCI, I will be really impressed. <laughs> Hollywood Nights is this week and I will not be able to attend that because the ticketing system screwed me out of going. So I've heard Dollywood today, which that's all right. As long as I get to ride Lightning Rod, I come to Old Witch Thunderhead over there. So yeah, this is going to be a good day. I feel it. It's still weird. It's like, it's like it's Okay, folks, over here on the left, you'll see the lead. You'll come back to to get back on the oh, other end and your turn stop. Way out there, Lightning Rod. Cannot wait to ride it with uh, its new iBox trap, which it got a couple of years ago. And I've heard that the ride has not run anywhere near as good since, but I won't know a difference because I don't remember anything about it. So I really hope that it runs because I have not seen it run for all I know. And if it runs, that'd be freaking awesome. So we're going to head over there right away and go get a couple rides on it because I need to get on it desperately. Oh, snap, there it is. Lightning rod. I don't know if I got a good shot of it, but oh, man. oh snap. Oh, so excited to get on this one again. Been seven years since my last ride on this. And my, actually my last ride being only ride. So obviously gonna do this one first thing. Front row, obviously, I think for probably only every ride on it. It is an RMC, it is a Ford's launch coaster. And I would rather ride the front row on a Ford's launch coaster. So we're gonna ride lightning ride first thing today. So excited for this. Still no sign of it running yet, but we got a decent spot in line. And I know some of my cousins, you wanna say what's up? Hi. You wanna say your name? My name's Annika. Annika, what's your name? Sean. Sean, these guys are from uh, you this your home state. And your first time here. Yeah. You guys excited? Yeah. Sure. Yep. <laughs> Good thing we're starting off with the uh, lightning round because uh, like I said before, I haven't seen any testing action or anything yet. But probably good we're doing this thing now if they will open it because no one will like it probably will break down on us at some point. And who knows, maybe delay the sense of difficulties right now. But we're going to wait it out a little bit and see if this ride opens up because we need to ride it bad. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Lightning Rod just tested. Oh man, there was a ride up in it too. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to get on this thing, see if it's as good as people say. Because this is the number one coaster I need to re-ride, and I might get to do it. So, my gosh, I'm ready. The doors are open, so it looks like we're about ready to ride Lightning Rod. Oh my gosh, yep, I think there are people about to go in there. Oh man, this is gonna be awesome. Been waiting forever for this one, and Oh my gosh, something, let's something, hope it delivers, something. which I'm sure it will, it's, it's an RMC after all, so. Let's go to Love Wednesday. This worker told me it would be about five minutes until Lightning Rod opens, and they, as you guys saw, they've just been doing some test runs. Annika and Sean and my brother Scott are doing Rocket Roadway right now, and if they open Lightning Rod before they get off, I'm just gonna go, because I ain't risking my chance of not riding this, because I mean, I scored a decent spot here from the front of the line, because the line died out pretty fast, so I might be, uh, I think I'll be on second day of the day, because I'll be doing, I always like to get front row. So if they tell me I cannot uh, get front row on first turn of the day, I might as well at least try for the back so I can say I've done back row on Lightning Rod. But all in all, I mean, looks like we should be okay with the opening. Hopefully, I probably just jinxed it, but you know, so be it, I guess. Yeah. Lightning Rod is open. Oh my gosh, I don't know a thing about this queue. 
Wow. Oh my god. It's the real me walking through the queue line of blinding right. Here's the base of the launch track. Uh, we gotta go this direction. It's like, I don't know. Oh yeah, it's like right here. Yep, I guess so. We'll be going under the fence, so. Yay. Uh, Alright, we're on the fence. Oh, sorry about that, bro. Anyway, straight up into the station. Oh my gosh. This is unbelievable. We're going under the fence again. Oh my gosh. I don't know what we're doing. This is so good. So excited to be back here. Gang on this first ever RMC. But I guess it's reborn, so. Yeah, it's not even a wooden coaster, it's a high Oh my god, look at that! Bro! Oh, this is gonna be so good. I'm gonna ride front row first ride, obviously, so let's go for it. Oh, the quad down. Can this ride come fast? Oh my gosh, we are in the station. We are in the station for lightning ride. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I'm more excited to ride this than trouble sports. Let's go! Oh man, Monica front row gang, you ready? Yay! Let's do this! Alright, come on, ready for the first ride of the day. It's glory. I hoped it would be and more. Blew my expectations out of the water. Top RMC, top steel coaster. Sorry, Blas, because you've been bumped. But it does not be the voyage. It's not even really close to be that. I don't know what the heck just happened. Oh, RMC, you nailed it. lightning rod and that ride was absolutely insane just a month before Annika what'd you think it was so good it nice. was so fun very nice and Sean you rode back on your first ride and then front on your second one which do you like better I think front is better but like my spine dislocated like three different times in the back yeah he rode you rode the very back row which yeah. quality content yep <laughs> These, my cousins are not exactly like enthusiasts or anything I mean but yeah Sean said that uh the back was a little much warm, and the front was like the perfect balance for, I guess, forces, which that, that makes sense. And uh, that uh, last turn before the break run, uh, I was I was waiting for in that one, and the positives, they were on the whole level. It was absolutely insane. Like, I just don't know how this ride is allowed to exist. And now we'll be done lightning rod a couple times, we're going to go over and ride Mystery Mine. And 
that is one of the new credits I'll be getting this year. And the reason why I did not ride it in 2016, this may sound really GP of me, but I was terrified of vertical lift hills back in 2016. So I didn't feel the need to ride Mission Ride because I was just scared of them. I know it's dumb, but then again, I rode Daredevil Dive at Six Flags over Georgia for the first time literally the next year. So I was okay riding that, and so now I'll be able to do Mission Ride, Mission Ride with no problem. So we're going to head over that direction and uh, do that. And I'm a little worried about that one because I've heard it's rough by a lot of people. So if that's true, I feel like I'm going to not enjoy this one very much, but I don't know. I'll have to ride it and see, but for now, we're going to go over and ride Mystery Mine. Might as well do Blazing Fury while we're here and these guys haven't ridden it yet. Well, my, my mom, brother, and I have, but a lot of good shots have not done it yet, so we're gonna see how this one is. And uh, I remember this one being nowhere near as good as Fire in the Hole, so I'm gonna see how this one is. And if anything, I feel like people might give this ride more appreciation once Fire in the Hole, the original, closes down because. Uh, yeah. Okay, we got lines down there, so we'll, we'll be on. Yeah. Like, we might as well add, I don't think I'll be able to try for Zen Ride, but you know, you never know. Let's uh, try with curious how it is. I'm about to say what you get me into? Welcome back, riders. Just got off of Blazing Fury, and that was better than I remembered. I got some decent airtime coming into uh, what you call it, some of the thing that's in the drops and whatnot. And it was a little bit better than what I remembered it. And now we're gonna ride Mission Mine, even though Ted's is like right here. If we don't get Mission Mine now, the line's gonna get a lot longer. So here's Fire Chaser, actually. I haven't been over by Wildwood Grove yet either, so we'll head over there after we ride Mystery Mine because all the coasts for the most part are back here. So, oh, here's Wild Eagles also. Yeah, we're definitely getting back to where more of the coasts are. It's really like lightning rod. And then pretty much everything else is in the opposite side. I guess maybe he's a Blazing Fury, but that's literally right. Oh, there goes Fire Chaser Fury Devil. So we're gonna ride Mystery Mine now, and I hope I like it, but at the same time, I'm skeptical. So we're gonna head down that direction towards Timber Canyon or whatever that is, and get on Mystery Mine. And well, we'll do the Fire I can always get the chocolate this one, but credits first. So let's get right Mystery Mine. <laughs> Yeah, this ride's capacity is now good, so. 
Oh man, I can only imagine how long it would be, like later on in the day. It's like only like two hours to us the park open, so yeah. Pretty good we're doing this thing now rather than like towards the end of the day. Which, like, I imagine the line will be short towards the end of the day, but then again it'll probably be a little past. So probably will do this later. What about mystery of mine for the first time and the best way I would describe it is horrible first half incredible second half as soon as the train entered the building where the second vertical lift it all got much better from there because there was tons of annoying head banging in the first half it was really really annoying so wasn't fan of that but then uh the last bit of the ride was absolutely incredible like the second lift hill with the projection up top the fire effect which caught me off guard and then the double inverse at the end was incredible as well so I still would much rather take Daredevil Dive and Six Flags Over Georgia over this. It was definitely better than I expected, but it was definitely not worth like the hour wait I put it in. It's still nice to get on it though. It's not too far down on the road. It's more fun to do. It's just time for old fellas to take the flowers for the top.
headlined for Big Bear Mountain for a little while, and outside of Lightning Rod, this is the coaster I'm most excited about. It looks like a next level cheetah hunt. You have fun it looks, and cheetah hunt is in my top 25, so I am expecting good things from this ride. The line moving fairly quick, so those people didn't really need to get this one first. And unlike Mr. Mine, which both of them exactly worth a longer wait, this one is decent long, but I'm sure it'll be worth a wait, so I can't wait to see how Dollywood's Zipper 2023 coaster holds up to the stuff I've written. has a winner on their hands here. I underestimated the intensity of that thing as well. My gosh, I grit out like at least twice, if not three times on that. I'm like thoroughly impressed with this coaster. I definitely wanted to get one more ride if the line isn't too bad, which, oh man, I just want to have some more of a coaster ride like Fire Chaser, Dragonfly, or Thunderhead Wild Eagle. So I haven't done all those yet. And after that, I want to get at least one more ride on Big Mountain because that was a blast. Oh my gosh. That, I would say, is a next level cheat hunt. And uh, first of all, it's got better restraints than cheat hunt, which I was amazed by. And there were some moments like uh, one of these, like this little hill back here, that little twist hill in the middle, I got some maritime on, which I was not expecting. So it was just absolutely insane. And for everyone's which one, it was the one the train's going through right about. Yeah, that one, that one I got some decent airtime, which I wasn't ready for. I got like thrown to the side like crazy. It was just a mini single lap, which is awesome.
road whistle punk chase a little bit ago since that's not what to walk on so i decided to get the credit and that is a rough kid coaster i think the roughest up until that point i didn't done was howler whistle punk was way rougher than howler was i was shocked by how rough it was like the train started vibrating like crazy going to the hooks. I'm like, why is it so rough? Not to mention the train flies halfway up the lift hill every single time that goes around three times. Just got word that my mom and my brother, also Sean and Annika, they're up at Wild Eagle right now and I got word that it's a walk-on. So I'm gonna head up that direction after I get a shot of them coming down the first drop from over here near Mystery Max. I got a straight on view of it. So once I get that shot, which will be a few trains still, I will head over to Wild Eagle, get a couple rides on that, which goes, and then I'm gonna get over to Thunder Ranch. I haven't done that yet, and I really can't wait to see how that compares to Prowler. So there it goes. Wild Eagle. And I'll get some more shots of Mr. Mind in the process as well.
tried fire chainsaw express but the line was not moving fast and even though the sign out there said 25 minutes i noticed that the wait times here at dollywood have been generally underestimated like mystery mind said 45 i ended up waiting like an hour for it it was ridiculous so what i'm gonna do now is get on wild eagle because i have not done that yet and then go ride tennessee tornado and then check back here at fire chase and then i'm gonna go ride dragonfly because i'm I haven't done that one yet, and that's the last new credit that I need here, so we're gonna try, uh, what you call it, uh, Wild Eagle now and see how it runs. I just rode Wild Eagle front row left wing. That was intense. I grayed out at least twice, if not three different times on that ride. And I even got some unexpected airtime too. So I was really impressed. Now I'm gonna take a ride on the right wing. And I think that might be all for uh, my rides on Wild Eagle. Cause I wish I could ride again, but then again, I could be riding like Thunderbird like about a month. Cause I'm not gonna be at Hollywood Heights this year. And uh, I'd rather just stay my wing coaster rides until I ride Thunderbird. So overall Wild Eagle is good. I'm gonna do one more ride on the right wing and then go ride Tennessee Tornado. Alright, riders, if you're ready to go up, down, and all the way to close entry gates, please say goodnight to your wife. My opinion wasn't quite as good as the left wing but it was still absolutely incredible for sure i still don't know why people trash this ride so much like it doesn't need a near miss i don't think i mean there was a close call with some supports at the end there but other than that it was there's definitely not near any near misses but still a good ride i'm gonna go ride uh dragonfly now even though i could ride tennessee tornado because i'm like literally right next to it and that's showing a zero minute wait dragonfly is at a 15 minute wait that's was like a 40 like, it was like a 35 minute wait earlier so i'm gonna go over and ride that because i need to do that because I haven't ridden it at all, whereas I have done Tennessee Tornado once. Plus, I haven't done Thunderhead yet either, so I'll hit Thunderhead on my way either to or from Dragonfly.
on Dragon Fire here in a few minutes. This ride looks awesome. I enjoy both uh, Steel Lasso in Frontier City and uh, Freedom Flyer in Fun Spot in Orlando. And I've heard that this is way better than both of them, so I'm excited to try it out and see how it is. The rumors of uh, Dragonfly being intense were true. That was really intense. Like, that first turn, yep, got me. First overbang, I should say. Uh, really cool view of Thunderhead, which I'm gonna get some shots of Big Bear Mountain, and then I'm gonna go right, because I haven't done that one yet. That's one of the last major coasters here that I haven't done yet. I'll have to do Fire Chaser Express and Tennessee Tornado, and I need to get some rides on Lightning Rod if I can, because I've done it twice this today. I would like to get another one on Big Bear Mountain. I don't know if maybe the line died down towards the end and I'll come back here. But if I had to choose between riding Big Bear Mountain multiple a second time or getting more rides on Landing Rod, I'd say more rides on Landing Rod. So let's get some shots of Big Bear Mountain and then work my way down towards Slenderhead. And then I guess get the other coach knocked out that I haven't done yet. But I'll make my final decision after I ride back to the office. Oh, 
Of Thunderhead back row. That was a lot rougher than the front row, so I do prefer the front row on this one over the back. And ultimately, do I prefer this or Prowler? My answer is Prowler, although it's close. I think Prowler was definitely a bit smooth than Thunderhead, which I was surprised about, and I thought it was a little bit more insane. So take it as you will, but I slightly prefer Prowler to Thunderhead, but I can see how you prefer Thunderhead to Prowler. I thought I could try and get a Zen ride on Mystery Mine since the line was short, but it's not gonna happen. However, that finale was still awesome, so I'm willing to give it a second try. Plus, I didn't ride it 2016, so I guess you could say this picked up for not riding it back then. I just walked straight on a Fire Chaser Express, and I forgot how much of a janky ride that thing is. The train was vibrating a little bit for the whole ride, which it was annoying, but it didn't really take away from it. The backwards launch. In 2016, it caught me off guard. Even though I was ready for it this time, it still got me, so that was just insane. And now I'm gonna go ride a Tennessee Tornado. Also, one more thing about this, I was getting backwards laterals and backwards airtime, which I'm not used to at all, so that was just demented. And there they go up there, so. Yeah, five chips was solid. Now let's go ride what possibly might be the best aero looper. <laughs> Just got off of Tennessee Tornado, and I think it is a really good aero looper, but I still do think I prefer Canyon Blaster at the Adventure Dome over it as my favorite aero looper. However, Tennessee Tornado is a very close second. I just thought Canyon Blaster felt a little bit more intense than Tennessee Tornado did. Now I'm gonna go check Lightning Rod, because I've only done that twice today, and see if that's open, because the Dollywood app says it's down right now, but I don't know if it'll open when I get there, if it's actually down for the night, but regardless, I think it's still worth a check, so. Let's go to Lightning Rod and see if it's open. And if it is, ride that for us tonight. Just saw Lightning Rod do a test run. Not sure if that means anything or not. But if it does, I'm going there to see if it'll open. Seven! 20 minutes of closing and Lightning Rod is back open. Awesome. Exceptional. Now to go for round four, and 
and I might be in, uh, I don't think this will be last round of the night. General, but it might be my last round of the night. I don't know depending on what time it is, but yeah. Glider Rod, excellent. <laughs> I had an awesome end to my night at Dollywood. It was sadly not last round of the night. Well, actually it was, but I ended up getting the coveted lightning rod rollback. Yep, I got rolled back last round of the night, front row on lightning rod. Awesome. And I got evac from the launch track. So there's one more rollback that I can add to my list along with uh, Mr. Freeze. So even though it didn't end the way I would have liked for it to, it was in, like the best alternative way for it to end. So overall, Awesome. My final ride count from today here at Dollywood was three on Lightning Rod, three on Whistlepunk Chaser because I count each lap as a separate ride on it, two on Mystery Mine, Thunderhead, and Wild Eagle, and then one on every other coaster. Overall, it was a much better experience here than it was in 2016. Well, A, because I got to hang out with my cousins, and B, I actually didn't have to worry about Lightning Rod being closed all day because I got on it first thing in the morning, did two rides on it to start my day, and then I did one more ride to uh, finish off my night. Well, that should have been two, but we all know what happened. So it was just uh, overall for us all day. Uh, Lightning Rod, obviously, huge surprise. It was really, really good, but it was, uh, yeah, Thunder. Uh, Lightning Rod was good. Thunderhead was awesome, GCI. Still not proud level, but still close. Uh, Mystery Mind was funky, but I, I started to like it more, and I'm actually kind of going to miss that one, not going to lie. And uh, let's see what else. Uh, Dragonfly was solid. Wild Eagle, the people that uh, say that nothing are flat outlining themselves. It was overall a really good day. Before you click off this video, please make sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already, and be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video, and be sure to share with us right now. If you're new to this channel, like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to get 500 subscribers by the end of summer, so I appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account with pictures I take when I visit the park, so be sure to check that out as well. I'll do a link in the description. My next vlog, I think it will be from Anakista in Pigeon Forest, Tennessee. And if that's the case, you'll be seeing the content from there. Odds I will be doing a Rail Runner Alpine coaster, and I will be sharing my thoughts on that. If that interests you, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and stay tuned for the bad. And until then, I'll see you later.